Hello traders, Gary Wagner here just after 12 noon in Honolulu, 6 o'clock in New York. It is Tuesday, April the 28th, 2020, and this is uh, the daily report for gold and silver. A very, very resistant gold market, or I should say resilient, in that it traded to a low today of 1704 and then came back up. Closing up about 60 cents on the day. We're now in aftermarket sessions, as I call it, which means that Australia just opened up a few minutes ago and we're currently trading at 1723.30, putting it down a little bit from where we marked our close just about an hour ago. The key to the action in gold is going to be what. The Fed says tomorrow. They convened for their FOMC meeting this morning. It will end tomorrow. It will end with a statement. And then, of course, as they do every time they meet, a question and answer session with Chairman Powell. And that's going to be the key to where we see gold move over the next couple of days. Let's take a look at our price board and then our technical studies. As we spoke about in our opening letter, the large drop in consumer confidence was overcome by the need for the safe haven asset and we saw gold recover from the lows of 1704 to close at 1724.40 which is a net gain on the day of 60 cents it actually traded as high today as 1731.90 when we look at spot gold that is still trading lower by about $4.10 at $17.06.80. In the other precious metals markets, platinum gained about $17, $7.94.10. Palladium had a small gain today of $2.40. After the large declines we've seen recently in that market, it's currently fixed at $18.97.20. And lastly, silver. Gained very, very little, but still moved up about one cent today at $15.22. And that was all within some very, very light tailwinds provided from a slightly weaker U.S. dollar. Let's take a look at our technical studies. While we could see some more downside in gold spot as well as futures, at least for today, the indications are that the key area of about 1700 which is an area i believe has provided some pretty major support on a technical basis has held the low today was 1704 you can see this blue line here that represents a 21 day exponential moving average and the dashed green line represents a simple 50 day moving average so those are the different areas that we are looking at should gold pricing continue to trade under pressure to lower prices. And traders, when we look at a short-term study of gold, and on this chart, as you can see, this is where we looked at the inverted head and shoulders, shoulder here, head here, and shoulder here, and use that to indicate a potential breakout that we saw. We saw a false breakout right here, a pretty strong breakout right here. But what we're seeing is when you take a look at the lows that came in today, they pretty much match up with the baseline that I believe is a strong support level, which is 1700. So it also confirms that. However, at the same time, we must note that when we look at the most recent series of lows that came in, We've got a low here. The next low that comes in is a higher low. That's what you expect in a market moving up. But then you get a slightly lower low that came in. And then when we look at highs, we can see that as this rally really formed about the middle of March, we had our first high. This high came in equal to the prior high. However, the next high that came in was a higher high, and the high after that was a higher high. But this most recent high was a lower high when compared to the last high. When you look at that in relationship to the fact that the low that we have seen is a lower low, that indicates that we could see more pressure in gold pricing itself. The key right now, in my opinion, is that it holds this really critical area right around 1700. 
because if it is able to hold and form some sort of a base, my sense is that it will move off of this and challenge at least the most recent high that came in. That would be this high here. And that came in roughly at 1770. We have this one here at 1788. And that is the record high for the year. Therefore, my recommendation is to maintain our neutral stance. We need a little bit more data to see if it's going to form a base and trade up from this point or if it is going to trade lower if so we've already talked about different levels of support that we think gold could go to but my sense is the longer it holds above 1700 the more likely it is that we will see gold challenge the most recent highs at 70 and 88. This has been Gary Wagner, wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.